everybody. I'm Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the team lead of the All Metro Real Estate Group. So here's our January market report for Omaha. So it's kind of interesting. So uh, in December, and so again, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I used to do year over year. So I would have looked at uh, stats from 2022 to 2023, um, you know, January to January. But what I'm doing now is I'm going month to month because our market is really doing this, and, but right now it, it is definitely on the upswing. Um, so here's the stats for the overall uh, um, Omaha area. And this is for existing houses only, not new construction. So December we had 589 houses sell total. January we had 419, so down about 34%. Do, do, again, doesn't necessarily uh, surprise me because these are closed, right? So a lot of the houses that would have sold in December then possibly closed in January. Sometimes they may be even sold in November. Um, so seeing uh, sale numbers down in January doesn't surprise me. Um, but this did surprise me. We went from uh, from an average sale price of two hundred ninety thousand to an average sale price of over three hundred and two thousand. That's a four percent increase in a month. Um, so uh, that's pretty. But that's a pretty solid number. Um, I listed a house just this last weekend. We had 11 offers on it. The house sold for more than 10% over list price. So appreciation is definitely happening. Um, a lot of it because our inventory is continuing to stay low and our interest rates have moved back to a normal rate. Um, you know, so uh, very, very active markets. Um, so that was the overall markets. Um, now I'd like to break it up into, into the price points, and this is up to $300,000. So what I call the first time home buyer price point. So again, same thing, we had lower numbers in January. We had 281 sell total, and we had 400 sell in December. Um, our prices actually dropped a little bit. That, that actually surprised me a little bit as well, because that first time home buyer price point has been very active. Um, but I think we just had some houses that maybe sat for you know an extended period of time meaning maybe a week because it was december you know you take christmas in there and new year's and there's there's a good week to you know 10 days maybe where there's just not a lot of activity so when a house sits for a few days it gives the uh the possibility and the potential i should say of the prices coming down just a little bit so uh, but yeah so down about about four and a half percent um from december to january on our sale prices um up to three hundred thousand. Okay, the next price point I'm going to talk about is three to six hundred thousand. Um, so what we saw there was our prices stayed pretty consistent, four hundred two two eighty seven in December to four hundred two one sixty six in, in January. I mean down 0.03 percent. So basically, they're static. Um, again, you know we get a little bit more of a glut in that in that price point. So you know we had over a hundred houses sell. Um, and close in or, or 100 houses close in January, um, where we had 170 the month before. So, um, but still, still moving along real nice. I'm mean, still taking less than a month to sell the houses where we've got a big lot of, of price points at or, or of, of homes in the price point. Okay, then 600,000 and above for Omaha, we actually saw, you know, so now we saw the same number of units sell in from month to month, from December to January. Now, the interesting thing, and what this also tells me, is that we had some higher end houses go on the market, but December, our average sale price was 854,000. And in January, our average sale price was 1,094,000. So that's up 24.7%. Doesn't mean that that luxury market is doing this, just means we had some bigger end properties actually hit the market. But I will, what I'll also um, uh, attribute to that is the fact that our interest rates did start to level off. And so then those luxury buyers did come in and saw value in the market, you know, with the uh, interest rates starting to normalize. Um, so really what's going on in the overall market right now is we've got low inventory, almost the same uh, scenario that I mentioned last, uh, last month, low inventory, our interest rates have definitely ticked back down. Um, weather has definitely helped. Um, you know, we're seeing, you know, temperatures in the fifties and it's sunny that brings a lot of people out. So it's a great time to be a buyer because again, our interest rates have pulled back down. Okay. 
Um, we are starting to see, you know, people can get home inspections. We're seeing VA and FHA buyers even being able to win deals, which is great. The overall market needs that. Uh, but it's also a great time to be a seller because we do have those interest rates are low and there's a lot of demand. When we have less than 300 houses overall for sale in Douglas and Sarpy County, you know, basically a, a metroplex of about a million people, that's really, really low inventory and that's where you see the demand. So if I can answer any questions, uh, I'm definitely here to be your knowledge broker. I've been in the business for 23 years. If there's any questions that you may have, please let me know. Um, please follow me on social media and just remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Todd Bartusik with Berkshire Hathaway.